wonderful. <coughs> oh, man. All right. We're going to see Mega Man versus Trainer. This matchup quite interesting. Trainer has a lot of different ways to deal with pellet pressure, and the absence of the Leaf Shield macro makes this a little bit easier on your biggest boy, Zard. But uh, Mega Man definitely has a decent time getting in, and his fair and backer apply a lot of pressure to each Pokemon for different reasons. Ivy, because it goes through the Razor Leaf. Squirtle, because it outright kills him. Uh, and Zard, because he's a big boy and he doesn't want to get comboed. So. Oh, boy. Yeah, I haven't seen this matchup yet. There's a lot I haven't seen yet. Um, you saw that, like, Asaph started off, like, trying to play some of the neutralist Squirtle. Uh, but he kind of just like quickly switched off to, to Ivy Star, being like, "Okay, uh, I took a little bit too much damage here. Let's yeah. try and slow things down." And that's great, like something that you can do just like mid match with this character. Yeah, absolutely. And one thing uh, King Arc did right there that's pretty interesting is now that Leaf Shield uh, doesn't disappear, now that none of the leaves disappear when they get hit and it's just out consistently, it actually does function as an anti-projectile. We saw him walk right through the Razor Leaf earlier, and that was pretty OD, if you will. Mm -hmm. Nice. Could have up tilted that potentially, but he didn't want to take his chances with Bullet Seed. Not knowing where a move hits, you're going to take your most consistent punish. Ooh. Damn. I don't know why he did it. That was so ham. <laughs> but <laughs> he's going to die for it. A worthwhile trade, perhaps? Uh, I mean, like. If if they're able to keep the motion of like how they're playing the neutral out, then yes, yeah. it's like oh I'm gonna keep it going. If we'll trade for stocks, but you keep going first. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the door, sir. Yeah. You exactly. know. Gonna get a lot of pressure there. Um, Metal Blade seemingly hitting. Oh my god. More often than it did in Smash Four. Uh, in Smash Four, it only hit shield two to three times uh, from the B toss, the actual move itself. But there, his shield got hit about four times. That was pretty scary. You definitely see that, like, uh, King has been able to, like, really, like, suffocate uh, ASAP right now. Yeah, definitely uh, having a really easy time just kind of forcing the pace. And this lead isn't doing him any favors. Good recovery by Ark, just kind of waiting out. Doesn't want to deal with the shenanigans coming from a win box. Peace out. Yeah. Hell yeah. Good dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very sick option coverage by ASAP Angel. Making use of that huge hitbox, man. That thing is gigantic. Yeah, that's what, that's really one of uh, definitely his strength is that it's not the spike by itself, but it's also the fact that the space that you can control with... Oh, peace out. Is the space that you control with up B, so that it just makes everyone really worry and, like... Uh, with the cooldown that Uppy has, you yeah. have enough time to be like, oh, okay, I forced an air dodge. <laughs> yeah, it's time to make it happen. Time to powder and in the either up or down direction. <laughs> have this explosion. So we see that uh, King Arc got rid of uh, Kalos and Lilat. Okay. Uh, I, I wonder if he's getting rid of Kalos out of like Pokemon experience because I, I like that Sage as Pokemon because it's like, oh, hey, you want to recover on these side platforms? Uh, those are the Vine Whip platforms. Yeah, I'm exactly. Sorry. You're <laughs> getting tipper Vine Whip no matter where on this platform you stand. It's like yeah, IP <laughs> is incredible on that map. And another um, pretty good thing on that map is, I, if I'm correct, Zard Fly ends up putting you on the platform at the end of it. So you can fly and then you'll land on the oh, platform. Really? And it's much less lag than any oh, that's other situation cool. with it. Which is pretty nice, yeah. All right, so... Going to Pokemon Stadium, uh, got to get that home home field advantage, home music advantage. This one kind of bangs. Yeah. The jump is gone, but he's not going to get to apply any pressure there. Just throwing it back. Making a lot of use of Metal Blade play right now, but I personally feel like he's throwing it into Aesop Angel a little bit too much. Could be because uh, Angel just hasn't been quick to respond at all and hasn't really been picking it up and counterplaying him with it. But uh, that situation is a little scary for him. Yeah, it's, it's probably one of those things where it's just like, right now this is working. I don't need to show more than I need to. Yeah. And uh, hey, unless until he adapts, I don't need to change my game. Yep. Let's just see what, how he can play the neutral. Good on him. Gonna take his uh, free Metal Blade catch off map, though, while recovering. That throw down, still just as good as it was in Smash 4. 
A lot of pressure, just maintaining the mid range right now, trying to hold this space. Doesn't want to do anything too risky and end up getting chunked at 80. Ooh. Hard situation, but he is going to find the tether. Good stuff on that down air. He's going to hold the lead for the first time in the set thus far. But that Roland is going to get it snatched right out of his hands. Yeah, it didn't hold on to that late for very long. I, I feel like when he got hit by that Metal Blade, it kind of like really knocked him off his rhythm. Yeah. Uh, sometimes you really need to be aware, and like you'll learn in like playing the matchup more, but like you can choose to like reel in Ivysaur like sooner yeah. so he doesn't have to like fall all the way into it. And so it's like when you start realizing uh, what space uh, certain moves, so certain anti vine whip counterplay covers, you're like, okay, I'll do this instead. I'll yeah. do a vine whip early and come from the top or something. Yeah. Or just jump if you have it. It's so much more worth in this game not to use your tether recovery. And it's like, I play Samus, and her tether is a little bit tricky in this game, and it does oh, a lot of. Oh, he doesn't know! Oh, he, it, well, he didn't he picked, know, but he. Picked he picked up fast he enough. Bit, yeah. <laughs> you know, within the two to. Five second interval that you get. Five se five hours, bro. It's like, what time is it now? Yeah. Ah. Uh, just get off your back, bro. Yeah. I wonder if that might have been like maybe the first time he ever saw him. Like, what did I just? All right, let's just try. Let's go. Yeah. You know. <laughs> By the time he reacted to it, it was like, oh, oh my that was god. True. Yo, late hit dash attack into down air. That was immense. Writing that down. Yo, <laughs> like, dude, that's that's actually such good coverage. Yeah, and, and uh, Ivysaur has one of the faster uh, dash attacks, being frame four. Oh wow. Yeah. So like frame uh, frame seven jab, but yeah. frame four down tilt and uh, dash attack. Oh, so for wow. okay. for his burst range, it's those two moves that you want to do. Oh, peace out. What? Hey! Oh my God. Can we? Uh, you want to see that again? Yeah. I want to see that again. <laughs> Show no. me that again. <laughs> I'm upset. I'm upset. That's. <laughs> that was nasty. The two screen freeze, dude. Boom, cool. boom, yeah. bro. Good on Ark. Uh, just honestly very, what would the word be? Very cognizant of his options at all times. He's yeah. never really committing to something too much unless he's uh, been shown leeway from his opponent. Uh, specific example being the Metal Blade, but there were also a couple of things here, like certain pallet pressure strings that don't work too well, that he was just like, yeah, I'm going to put this here. This guy isn't applying any pressure to me. He just it's like, fear. when did he put it on him? Um, I know, right yeah, there. he stuck all it right. there, but he just oh, he in. actually got really lucky. So I don't know if it's uh, that they were um, like shrunk the stick box in this game or if it was just the side it got put on. But typically in Smash 4, if you did that, uh, yeah, that would, would end up it would have transitioned stuck. at that point yeah. easily. Yeah. yeah. So it was actually really good for him. Oh, I, I'm curious of what all the specific changes are to like how it passes off the stick. That's Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. They made it sure. a move. Yeah. It's know? actually, yeah. You can actually use this to apply pressure now. Yeah. It's incredible. <laughs> if he had run up in shield, it would have broke his shield. If he tried to parry it, if he was off even a little bit, the same exact situation would have happened. Because it's so funny. Like, you stick it on them, and then now you just have this person barreling toward, and you're like, no, 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 no. Yeah, no. You know? No, no.